ready, set, hut, hut. Hey, let's snap into another edition of Athletes in Action. Hi, I'm Wiley Baker at Glen Burnie High School. Let's go deep with the Gopher football team and head coach Eric Woodson. One, two, three, the captains and coaches are excited about the prospects of Glen Burnie football's first winning season in some time. Get in the hole! Touchdown! When I took over about two and a half years ago, it was a struggle. On the first year, of course, we went one and nine on varsity, but we built the program with the JV team. Uh, JV went seven and three. Uh, second year, which was last year, varsity goes five and five. Go! With a lot of those core kids that came up from JV and we're looking for some great things out of these guys. We're all coming together as a family and a brotherhood. Uh, I mean, we're all student athletes. We're all trying to, we're in the books, getting our, getting our grades right before we get on the field and hopefully get these wins. I'm pretty confident with the season. We've been working hard all practice and all year. Us, the captains, get together a lot and talk about the film that we watch every Monday. We watch film and then we'll talk to the coaches, tell them what we see. This family of gophers has come a long way together. We gotta get the guys up ready for game day, and then you have to be a leader, and you got to do everything right, so they'll do it right. A lot of times these guys lead by example. You know, um, some of the guys, the first one's in the locker room, the first one on the field, the last one to leave the field. We have a lot of chemistry together. We've been together for four years, some of us since rec league. Uh, we've just been doing this every year. We come out, we practice together, we'll go home, we'll still talk to each other about the game. I love these guys, they're my brothers, family. I treat them like family. Players on both sides of the ball are ready to step up for the Gophers. It's pretty fun. You get to engage with all the other players, get some contact in, and it shows your versatility by being able to catch and block. Pre-game prep, solid warm-up, hydration, healthy meals have led to great improvement and a motivated squad. We do a lot of stretches before every practice. We'll take 30 minutes out just to stretch and make sure our legs are loose and we'll take a couple laps around the field. And then when we go home, we eat the right meals. We don't drink a lot of soda and we stick with water. Lifting weights, uh, stretching before and after practice, just little things to get our mind and our body ready for practice every day. Every one of the kids that I have since I came in here, I gave them a workout packet. In that workout packet, it's got nutrition, it's, it talks about diet, uh, it talks about what's good to eat. Um, we try and monitor weight gain, weight loss. Of course, we can't go home with them, you know, but we supply those tools for them and for their parents to be able to look at and say, okay, well, these are some healthy choices. And it is difficult. Touching down in the books ranks as highly as touching down in the end zone. Making sure these kids are going to school, class, not cutting, the whole nine yards. This has been a overwhelming but exciting to see the transition of where it was three years ago coming into this year where the guys are fully engaged they've bought into the system organization is key so you know where everything's at and then we usually study during study hall for approximately 30 minutes before practice the grades are very important you can't play football if you don't got the grades uh you know we're all student athletes but student comes before the athlete you can't be on the field if you're not in the books first. We set the example in school. We're always in the front. We're always participating in class, and we do what we're told. We preach to the younger guys that we, they always got to do their work and stay on task, and they'll eventually make it just like us. Get off the the Gophers are looking to go all the way. That's what I'm talking. Going to playoffs and then trying to get further in the playoffs. First off, get my grades right, at least a 4.0 I'm shooting for, and playoff run. Hopefully a state championship, definitely, for sure. I'm hoping we go to playoffs and big things from there and just keep pushing forward until we finally make it to the states. Even before playoffs, Black. graduate, go to college, um, be successful citizens. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, on the air, or on the Anne Arundel County Public Schools YouTube channel with another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools Athletes in Action.